Parachutes are an invaluable tool that everybody needs to carry at least two of, even if you're not planning on going on a flyer anytime soon. Don't believe me? Stick around and I'll explain why that's the case. Crafting parachutes is incredibly convenient because they can be made in your hands. Now this is a great thing because it means you don't got to take 20 parachutes whenever you leave your base. You can take a couple and then craft more if you need more. Crafting them will take 30 fiber, 10 hide, and 40 thatch each, and each will weigh 4 weight. But you're going to want at least 2 at any given moment. That is what I consider the bare minimum. So consider it basically 8 weight. Now that you know how to make one, how do you use it? Well, you just uh, you press the button you assign it to in your hotbar slot. You know, whatever's easiest for you to recognize. I uh, recommend if you're on console that you use one of the first four buttons so that you can press the parachute button immediately and you don't have to do the uh, combo. But again, that's up to you. If you can remember the combo button, that's even better for you. There are a few other things you should know with parachutes. Once you're going, you do have the ability to very, very, very slowly tilt yourself left, right. You can go backwards to uh, lose momentum, but you cannot go forwards to gain momentum. And if you decide that this parachute was just used at the wrong time, press the jump button to cut the line and sever the parachute connection. Uh, you're probably going to want to pull another one before you hit the floor, though, because you don't want to die of fall damage. And this is exactly why I recommend bringing two of them. Now, I can think of three use cases for parachutes, and you might think this is stretching it or exaggerating or I'm just being stupid, but give me an opportunity to explain myself. Now, the one that everybody can identify is stopping fall damage. I mean, it's very obvious that's what parachutes are used for. So if you're in an opportunity where, you know, you're on a flyer or you're going around a bunch of cliffs or you're playing PvP at all because, you know, flyers picking you, it's a great opportunity to just carry parachutes around because so long as you have one, you shouldn't die of fall damage, assuming you pull the parachute soon enough. The second main use is for traversing around the map quicker if you don't have any flyers. Whenever you pull the cord on a parachute and you begin parachuting, you will conserve all momentum in the direction that you were heading when the parachute was pulled. You can see me absolutely flying across the map right here because I pulled the parachute when I was flying off a cliff. This is a great way to get around, much faster than running. Even if you're only parachuting at running speed, you're avoiding obstacles that would slow you down and you're not having to worry about stamina or any kind of wild creatures killing you along the way. Seriously, this is an option you should consider if you need to get from one place to another and there's a cliff along the way that you can throw yourself off. Just keep in mind, in PvP, it's very, very easy to see someone that has a parachute going off of them. But in PvE, there's really no reason not to ever use this strategy. I mean, it's great. It's seriously underrated, and I don't see enough people doing it. The third and final main use I see for parachutes is avoiding ground dinos. This can actually be useful against certain creatures in PvP, and is incredibly useful against most creatures in PvE because of how dumb they are. Say something's after you and you don't have enough movement speed to escape it. You need to find the nearest cliff and parachute yourself straight off of it. Then you need to clear as many obstacles as you can that will slow down whatever is chasing you. That way you can get more, more time ahead of them. After you inevitably have to land, if it's a PvP creature you need to find a bush or something to hide in, or if it's a PvE creature, keep running and get it to aggro to something else. This is a method that's very effective. So, now you can go out there and stop dying of fall damage. Seriously, the amount of guys I pick and drop and then they just die instantly because they don't have parachutes on them, it's mind-boggling. And it's not a fun fight when you just die instantly. Really, it's worse for both of us. And even if you're just playing PV, you should carry some of them. I think I've highlighted that decently enough. If you guys enjoyed the videos, go ahead and uh, leave a like and subscribe. I got four more guy videos on the way. You're not going to want to miss them. And also, thank you to my patrons, especially to level 5 Tech Dodo. Very cool. I'll see you guys later.